Uh, good afternoon again. Uh, I had the honor uh, today to chair India's third initiative uh, of our presidency, which is an open briefing on the threats to international peace and security caused by terrorist acts. Uh, this was a timely meeting because, as you know, we are on the eve of the uh, International Day of Remembrance uh, and tribute uh, to victims of uh, terrorism. Uh, and as a country which has borne the brunt of cross-border terrorism, this will be uh, and has been a priority issue for India, certainly will be one in our Security Council membership. Uh, we would be chairing the UNSC Counter-Terrorism Committee that we are taking over from Tunisia in 2022, uh, and we hope to build on the gains uh, from uh, today's meeting during our chairmanship of the CTC. Uh, we are happy to note that a very strong, substantive, clear press statement has been adopted by the Council today uh, that outlines many of the key concerns, uh, especially the need to ensure a strict check on terror financing and bringing the perpetrators of terror attacks to justice. Uh, during our deliberations today, uh, all Security Council members, uh, uh, with one voice, uh, endorsed a zero-tolerance uh, approach to terrorism in all its forms and manifestations. Uh, we are clear that there cannot be double standards and distinctions are really made uh, at our collective uh, peril. Uh, we also had a civil society briefer today, uh, Mr. Dawood Moradian, uh, who is the Director General of the Afghan uh, Institute for Strategic Studies, who recently escaped from Kabul. Uh, and he shared his insights uh, on the growing menace of ISIL Daesh uh, in the region. Uh, I have reiterated for the Council's consideration today India's eight-point action plan, uh, which encourages member states to collectively build on some of the principles that we have put forward. Uh, we also believe that the swift adoption of the Comprehensive Convention on International Terrorism at the UN uh, is key to global counterterrorism efforts. Now, uh, with uh, today's deliberations, uh, our three signature initiatives uh, of our presidency, uh, which were focused on maritime security, technology and peacekeeping, and counterterrorism, have been successfully completed. All three have uh, had substantive and forward-looking uh, council products, uh, including a Security Council resolution, uh, which was co-sponsored by all 15 members. Uh, I would uh, uh, like to, I'm leaving uh, today after this uh, meeting, so I would like to thank the entire membership of the Security Council uh, and the SCAD team uh, for their constructive approach and support in making our three teams uh, uh, so uh, welcome. And uh, uh, we are really gratified at uh, the overwhelming support uh, and global resonance which, uh, with which they have been received. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Minister. Uh, like Mr. Minister. Minister. Uh, in your remarks, you mentioned that events in Afghanistan uh, have enhanced uh, concerns about regional and international security, and we also heard member states say that Afghanistan should not again become a hub for terrorism. But how concerning is it that terror groups like Jaish e Mohammed and Lashkar Taiba that you mentioned, and also Al Qaeda and ISIL, can use uh, this situation and can do just that to enhance their cross border terrorism in, against India and other countries in the region? Thank you. Mm -hmm. Does anybody else have an Afghanistan-related question? I do have an Afghanistan question. Thank you, Mr. Minister. This is Susan from We On News. India, will in, uh, India recognize the Taliban, and what is India's position on the Taliban? Mr. Minister, I have another Afghanistan-related question. A very specific question, but quite an important question. How worried is the Security Council about the prison breaks that have taken place in Afghanistan? Yes, the Taliban were getting out their own Taliban, but in Polycharki prison in Kabul and in the Bagram prison, there certainly were members of Al-Qaeda Al and ISIL that were being held there. Are you trying to get information from officials in the former Afghan government, and for that matter, from the US, who should have known about them, for a proper inventory of who's escaped? Uh, 
Alan Bulcati with Rihanna Austin, your news agency. Mr. Minister, uh, today one of your briefers mentioned the possible, uh, he urged for uh, the peacekeeping mission to Kabul. So do you share this appeal from your briefer that uh, the peacekeeping mission of UN must be deployed to the Kabul? Thank you. Okay, I think I'll close uh, with that one. Uh, yeah. Lenka yes. White, uh, my niche newspaper. What actions should the Security Council take according to you? Would you like to see a peacekeeping mission? Thank you. Uh, well, look, uh, I mean, let me start broadly with the, with the sequence with which issues were raised. Uh, I think uh, you, uh, uh, I made it very clear that we have had, a, uh, uh, unfortunately, a long experience with cross-border terrorism. Uh, we're not the only country uh, which has had it. Other countries have had it. I mentioned Afghanistan as an example. Uh, and uh, I specifically, in fact, mentioned some of the groups that you did, jaish e and lashkar e -Taba. And I think this is a continuing uh, uh, issue, and uh, we, we made the point very strongly uh, that uh, this is, it's important, therefore, that uh, there are no double standards, that there are no distinctions. Terrorism is terrorism. Uh, regarding some of the other questions, look, uh, my understanding is it's for the briefers to make their uh, thoughts, you know, to offer their expertise and their thoughts. Uh, and it is for the council to hear it and reflect on it. So I wouldn't really characterize uh, uh, or draw any particular conclusions from uh, necessarily what the views of uh, some of the briefers were. Uh, on the uh, issue of where we go on from now, uh, you know, I mean, uh, in a sense, I, I sort of uh, spelt it out yesterday in my remarks as well. The immediate issue that we are looking at is really uh, the, uh, the repatriation of our nationals. I mean, in India's case, India's nationals. Other countries uh, have uh, their concern. And we are working with uh, international partners uh, in this regard, especially uh, principally the United States because they control the airport. But uh, as an example, I would mention I thanked the French foreign minister yesterday because as part of what France did, they also took back uh, some Indians uh, to Paris. Uh, so uh, uh, I think that was the, the right thing to do. Uh, uh, but uh, in terms of the longer uh, perspective, I mean, uh, we have a, a historical relationship with the Afghan people. and. I, I think that relationship will continue to uh, guide our thoughts and outlook. So once again, I thank you very much. Sorry, Mr. Minister, the escaped prisoners, 